सब्सक्राइब करिए शॉर्ट एंड डिक्टेशन चैनल को और दबाइए इस बेल आइकन को ताकि आपको मिले लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट सर इन सो फार एज दी प्लान इज कंसर्न इट्स मेन प्रिंसिपल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव आर आई बिलीव एक्सेप्टेबल ऑलमोस्ट यूनानिमसली टू ऑल दी सेक्शन ऑफ दिस हाउस द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव इज दैट we must bring in a socialist society and not merely say what a socialist society is and the plan has defined what its main objective or its main purpose in having a society is the main purpose is that whatever development we are going to do in this country the object should be the socio economic gain of the community as a whole in place of private profit and secondly sir the whole pattern of development and the structure of the socio economic relations should be so planned that they result not only in increasing the national income and the employment opportunities but there should be greater and greater equality in incomes sir the other day a private members resolution was being discussed in this house with regard to the fixation of a ceiling on incomes and the honorable prime minister happened to be present at that time he very clearly defined what the object of such a move would be the whole idea is that we must level up the society that is to say we must raise the income at the lowest level so that the disparities disappear of course we must also bring about a reduction in those big incomes which are at the top but that alone will not solve the problem at all it has not solved the problem in any country at all the most conspicuous example in this respect is the united states of america i believe in the recorded history of mankind there is no country which has succeeded so amply in practically abolishing the exploited labor class today there is no such exploited labor class in the country the whole population from the very bottom has been elevated to a sort of middle class i was told that even the cook in an indian embassy comes in his car to do the work and then goes back in his own car here even members of parliament cannot come in their own cars there even a sweeper comes in a car that is the object which we should have in merely getting rid of the few people at the top we are not going to solve that problem if we distribute what they have it would not last for more than a day or two in any case it can satisfy our little anger or if i may say so our malice but that cannot solve the economic problem of the nation as a whole therefore sir the main purpose is that we must raise the level of income at the lowest level of the community that is the aim of the plan we must raise the living standards of our people and we must enlarge the opportunities of employment we know sir that both in the countryside in the rural areas as well as in the urban areas there is not only the unemployment but there is also underemployment on a very large scale which is one of the main causes of our poverty and if the plan succeeds in enlarging these opportunities of employment it will have attained 
a very great object. Then, sir, another object and the principle is to promote enterprise among the different classes. Now, sir, the whole nation is not just on one level as it is in the case of the France, Germany or England. We are, if I may say so, a sort of multinational people. All sorts of communities are there. We have got the backward areas, we have got the scheduled tribes, we have got the scheduled castes. And certain communities have got an advantage over other communities, maybe for any reason or maybe due to the British period. There is, for instance, the Parsi community or the Marwadi community, whereas there are large sections of the people who have got no hand in the industries at all, who merely live on agriculture and are therefore on a very poor level. Therefore, our aim is to plan investments in such a way as would lead to the promotion of industrial enterprises among the disadvantaged classes so that every section of the community, every caste in the community may have an equal opportunity for all the good things of life because merely calculating that our per capita income will be so much or our national income will be so much will not solve our problems. What we want is that all the communities which have been at a disadvantage so far for whatever may have been the historical reasons should have equal opportunity to advance and better their conditions of life. Then all the jealousies between region and region, between class and class and between caste and caste will go and then we shall begin to feel that this commonwealth is a cooperative com commonwealth in which all have a share and equal share in these opportunities. Then the object is that we must industrialize the country as quickly as possible with a great emphasis on heavy industries. To that end, the government of India has pronounced a new industrial policy revising the policy that had been laid down in 1948 and this new policy lays down that the public sector has to be enlarged so as to include all industries of basic and strategic importance or in the nature of public utility services. This is all very nice. They have given schedules more or less on the lines of the schedules attached to the Indian constitution. The Prime Minister was at great pains yesterday to explain with which all reasonably minded people will agree that the private sector should be allowed and encouraged to play its full part so that productive machinery or production apparatus does not suffer any diminution in the volume or quantum of production.